totally took a slow mo video and didn't even mean to. So, <laughs> hey guys, slow mo video. My phone. Oh wait, are you still vlogging? Am I still vlogging? I just started vlogging. I'm sweating right now though. Hey, you should send me the, hey. the what? Wait, what? You should send me the um vlog videos you have with me in it. Duh. Okay. I'm gonna. No, like send me them as videos so I can put them on my um. Yeah, I'll send them through my iPhone. It'll come as iCloud. Okay. Because if I send them from my other, then it'll turn out as, like, weird, but... That's, yeah, yeah. yeah, you're good. Send it however you Hey, this is Carly! Hi. Uh, she's I my... I, was, I didn't expect you to video me yet. Hang on. <laughs> there you go, though. Yeah. No, because here's the thing. We're, like, legally blind of besties. Should I even say that? Yeah, yeah, I should. <laughs> <laughs> should I even say that? I already did. Yeah. So I... if I didn't, too late. Anyway, do you think I'm cool? Yeah. You do. Yeah. I think you're cool, but I think you're cooler than me. <laughs> maybe, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> well, no, no, it's okay. So maybe, like, maybe you like, are. Maybe. Maybe because you have to teach me all the cool things in life. Uh, sure, yeah. What, what do I need to learn? Um, uh, I don't know. I mean, you have your mom, so that's pretty You have your mom! I love it. <laughs> Good call there. Anyway, hang Time. on. Time! We had cookies. They are so Good. And hot right out of the oven. Oh my goodness. Look, no, 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 no. Oh, see if you can find me. I literally can see you. Like Hashtag your... blind problems. Whoa, okay, bestie. <laughs> bestie, come on now. I love this. Why? Whoa! That, that angle, though. <laughs> I know, it's about that to say the same thing. so bad. Well, you'll love it. No. Yeah, you will. Okay, now it's not that bad because now oh, you can ooh. see my face. Yeah. Don't zoom in on my head. I, hold on. I don't know why I'm, I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> oh, no. I'm scared. Oh, there's a chair there, Ash. Yeah, I know. I got you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, What do you want to say to me? Just say something. Say something to me right now. Why? I don't know. Your mom. Your mom. Your mom. Your mom.com. Brian. <laughs> Brian. What are you Are you comfy? Yes. Are you he, I think he's preparing for you to tickle him. Are you sleepy? No. Are you relaxed? I'm good, yeah. <clears throat> Are you a YouTube star? I am. Are you famous? <laughs> Not yet, but I will be. <laughs> LOL. LOL. Here's my blind bestie again. She's just chilling. Hi. Hey, how are you? Yeah. Let's ditto. Paige, you want to say hi? <laughs> That's my bestie right there. Okay, let's do it. Okay, ready? I'm ready. Animals that begin with C. Chick fil A. I'm sorry. Stop it. <laughs> Chicken and cow. Cow and cat. I was going to say cat, but Chick-fil-A was more appealing. I said caterpillar and chimpanzee. <laughs> <laughs> well, we both said cow over here, so it looks like we got a point. I don't feel like this one is necessarily fair. Things that things that you stare at or things that stare at you. <laughs> I don't know if that might be a little bit difficult. But I don't want to assume. No, so. go for it. Okay. We got this. Okay. So, things you stare at. <laughs> what, what a strange prompt for... One, we are playing two, double two, digits. <laughs> Brian, double, if you feel double like it's... Double ditto. Double ditto. Sorry. Double ditto. <laughs> double ditto. <laughs> Brian, Brian if, if, it's, if it's hard, don't feel guilted, okay? Or not guilted. If, if you can't, just... You're all right, but I got this. But I am I am not too sure what you'd say. I can only seriously think of one. People and TV screens. I said a TV. Ooh. What was your other one? I didn't say... I couldn't think of any. Oh, other. Brian, did you have any? Hmm. You know Let's see. Let's blind. see. Computer screens or the sun? Because Brian stares at computer screens all the time. Oh, people shouldn't stare at the sun, but... Hey, guys. It has been a really fun day. Um, Just kind of got a few clips of <laughs> us hanging out with different people in case you're kind of, like, thrown for a loop. Like, well, what's going on here? So um, I hung out with one of my besties, Carly. And so just kind of we went to Chick-fil-A for lunch. And then we sat there and talked for a while, just kind of was catching up and then um, we came back here we made cookies and honestly we just hung out and talked for a little bit um 
we'll hang out again eventually. Um, but anyway, that was really fun. And then, um, Brian and I and Carly were all just hanging out. And I was like, three blind mice in the house. Sorry, guys, if my eyes are, like, closing and squinting. But I cannot help that. Anyway, um, and then we went to Paige, our best friend's Paige and Chad's house. And we played, we actually, no, we went to Chipotle. And we had that. And then we played some games and hung out. So that was really fun. We were playing the game, um... Oh goodness, what's it called? Um, something double ditto. So basically, it's just it was a really fun game. So um, yeah, and I cannot believe it's almost the new year. So oh, what I was going to tell you guys is I'm updating you. Yes, on a couple things. We have taken my walker back down to a toddler size. Um, it's the same walker, of course. But I I didn't mind it a little higher and then but orthopedic doctor decided, hey, with your scoliosis combined with your cerebral palsy, uh, it's not good for your shoulders. Cause the handles were like up to my hips and then I was um trying to lift my shoulders and it just wasn't it was not doing good on my body. So they were like, Yeah, you need to have it. So I'm just like I just walk like this with it and it's pretty easy. And my mom actually thought it was a little too high too, which, you know, I guess anyway. Um, so, we won't find this out for a little bit, but in early February, I am going to see a neuro-ophthalmologist, um, sorry you guys, the lights in my eyes, anyway, um, so I have what's called a chromatopsia, um, which means I see shades of gray, I'm extremely light sensitive, I, um, I do switch throughout the day from my prescription glasses to the red, dark, tinted glasses because it actually helps me see, especially outside, especially inside in the light, actually, because um, I'm so light sensitive that when I'm trying to look at large print or something, the light is just on my eyes. I'll do more videos on my eyes um, this week because there's some things that we've done in the past and that's changed and I can explain why those things have changed, um, but for now, I'm just doing a little update. So basically... Um, I, I see, um, I'm seeing more of my peripheral vision too. So like, that's been amazing. I also, I, I, obviously my cones and a chromatopsy is color blindness, if you don't know as well. And my visual acuity is, sorry, my arm's getting tired. <laughs> my visual acuity is 20 over 400 in both of my eyes. Um, but my eyes are stable and my retinas are not detached. So yeah, um, Anyway, but we're going to see a neuro-ophthalmologist, which is something my mom wanted to do as well. I mean, it wasn't just like she thought of it. It was we were at the um, my neurology appointment and they brought it up and my mom was like, oh, yeah, it's a good idea. Because I, I say my mom because she's a visual expert and I don't always know. Like, I didn't even know that existed. I, I really didn't. I'm like, what is this? I did not realize once you're able to see there's like a team of five different doctors that come into your life, which don't get me wrong, I'm grateful for it, but I'm like, okay, so I have a low vision specialist, a retina specialist, neurologist, op, and then, and then the, um, I always get tongue-tied when I vlog. Anyway, and then <laughs> the, um, even when I don't get a vlog, I get tongue-tied. Not that y'all care. Um, neuro-ophthalmologist. Anyway, so, I'm in good hands. But the reason we're going in early February is because... We, we want to see if my um, achromatopsia is cerebral or not. The reason that we're checking for cerebral is because I do have temporal lobe epilepsy and I do have epilepsy and that, I'm so sorry you guys if my eyes are getting on your nerves. Anyway, um, they want to know if it is caused by the brain or just my eyes. Now obviously cerebral achromatopsia, um, you know, it can differ from person to person. It doesn't mean that everyone has all the same symptoms, but I do have extreme photophobia, day blindness in the sun. Um, and I mean, they know what condition I have. They just want to know because I have epilepsy and these things, they want to know, is this, is this, um, is this why? Sorry, my arm is like, whew. and here's why. What will change? Not a whole lot. Um, it will help us to know though, like, flickering lights sometimes cause me to have seizures 
And so, like, obviously, light's going to be hard on my eyes anyway because anyone with the chromatopsia is very light sensitive anyway. And, um, so... I need to, I need to, like, do something. I can't be squinting like this. Just okay, take, I'm sorry, I'm back. I thought I could get through all that without, like, squinting and the whole time, but it wasn't working. And now I can see really better. Really better? A lot better, sorry. <laughs> anyway, um... So I start out usually, depending on what the weather is, like if it's a cloudy day, I will wear my uh, prescription blue glasses outside, but then it gets tricky because then I go in a restaurant or something and the lights are super bright and I need to wear the red glasses. Um, or if I'm shopping or if I'm looking for things, I like to see colors. Um, so basically, uh, I... I'm trying not to, I'm trying to remember where I was. Anyway, um, it literally took me three seconds to get these on. And then anyway, um, so the chromatopsia lights are not good on your eyes. And that's what we've always noticed. Um, and so what will it change? Well, it will just help us know, like, lights are not good on my eyes anyway. And if there's flickering lights, we have to be really, really careful because that could be a seizure trigger. Now, it, if I, if, if we find out it's not cerebral, it's just, you know, complete achromatopsia, which is what I do have, um, then, you know, we still are um, careful around strobe lights and flickering lights, but it, it won't be, it's like not part of my visual impairment, but it's part of my epilepsy. I hope that makes sense. So basically, we still have to be careful because when they did the EEGs on me, they strobe lights and it, it, it showed my wave um, lengths and showed some, you know, epilepsy activity. So that's how they found out I had temporal lobe epilepsy. But we also didn't know at the time what I could and couldn't see. And so now um, that my eyes have gotten a lot better, it's that. Um, so if I do have cerebral achromatopsia, um, it will, it will explain that my eye condition is neurological if I do not have cerebral achromatopsia and I just have achromatopsia, complete achromatopsia, um, then that means that the light flickering is just epilepsy. It's not my eye condition. I just happen to have photophobia and sensitive to light. No, it doesn't mean I'm afraid of light. It means my eyes are very light sensitive. I don't know why they call it that. Anyway, so it's not bad news, it's good news either way because, you know, it's it's fine. Um, but it's always good to have a baseline and just have those answers of what causes what and what can I do to move forward with my vision and what do I need to avoid and what do I need to not avoid. So anyway, um, that's your update for now and thanks for watching this video. See you next time.